The season, Bonds played for the San Francisco Giants and broke Hank Aaron's home run record. The head of the TSA is admitting that airport security has a major flaw. Government investigators were able to get liquids used to make explosives through security at 19 airports, even onto planes. They will not tell us if Hartsfield-Jackson was one of those airports, but the Transportation Security Administration says the most commonly used technology used everywhere can miss bomb-making materials. They're bringing improvised explosive devices in component parts, and we're going to train and test against that, and that is really, really hard. The TSA chief says new carry-on screening machines would detect the liquids, so would tougher pat-downs of suspicious passengers. Scientists at a Gwinnett County company say they have new technology that can shore up airport security failings. A new generation of scanner can detect threats today's common scanners miss. Consumer investigator Jim Strickland broke this story a few months ago. He has an important update all airline passengers ought to see. Three liquids in three clear bottles. The airport's conventional screener may see the bottle, but not what's inside. We've been working a number of years to solve this problem, and this problem has been known for a while. A Gwinnett County technology firm called Scantec has just finished a new prototype airport screener. It can not only see liquids, it can identify them. As you can see from, uh, from the picture here, we actually get two views of, of the bottles. The computer can tell the first two are water-based and benign. Now the bottle on the left. The third one, as we can see, is a flammable liquid. But were they? The water, baby formula, and then the last one is ethyl alcohol. If you spread that on the carpet and light it on fire, uh, it's very difficult with only one or two small fire extinguishers on a plane to put out such a fire. Soon, new software will automate the process so an operator does not have to move the cursor around. Uh, we will be able to do it in a very fast manner so we don't impact the ability of passengers to move through the airports. Scantec CEO Dolan Falconer says this scanner will soon go into TSA testing at Tyndall Air Force Base in the Florida Panhandle. The ultimate goal of this company is to get certified by TSA to have our machines in the airport protecting the American public. Every airport? Every airport, yes, sir. Now, Scantec hopes to go through a second testing phase and then install at least a few machines in a pilot program. Full deployment would come late next year. It would meet a contract so huge they can't even talk about the dollars. They figure it will take 10,000 machines. Reporting live in the newsroom, Jim Strickland, Channel 2 Action News. Atlanta Gas Live.